Hey my dear Leos, what's up with you all? Hope you all are doing fantastic, fantabulous, mind-blowing as usual and roaring as usual. So today we will be doing uh, the Hidden Truth reading for you all. So let's see what do we have for my dear Leos here and what is it that your person is hiding from you and haven't told you yet i will be using different oracle decks here along with my hand made oracle deck the hidden truth and uh, and the angel answer oracle card here so without further ado let's start with your reading do remember that the energies are vice versa the time is fluid. It may, may not resonate with each and every one of you right now. It may do later. Also remember that in case if this reading doesn't resonate with you, do check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter sign as well. Do not lose heart. Check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter signs. I'm also open for personal reading. In case any of you is interested, do let me know. I'll be happy to help you out. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. The link is in the description box below. Do remember that this is a collective spread. So it may, may not resonate with each and every one of you, but a few of you or most of you. Right. So let's start with your reading without a further ado. I'm done with my cleansing as well. So let's see what is in store for you, my dear Leos. What is it that my Leos should know? What is it that my Leos should know? What is the hidden truth? about their person most on their mind please remember that this is a timeless reading it doesn't matter when this reading was recorded or made or uploaded if you are watching this reading it is meant to find you this is for my dear leos what is it that they should know what is the hidden truth about their person what is it that my leos should know This is for my dear Leos. What is it that they should know? Nothing is yet set in stone. And we have, don't let your past hold you back. Dear Leos, you are being advised that whatever is happening right now in your life, nothing is decided, right? No matter how much you are going to try, no matter how much that person is going to try, nothing is yet decided. But... You know, nothing is set in stone. Having said that, you need to understand that whatever is holding you back to move forward in your life, you need to move on from that. So don't let your past hold you back. Look forward. Look at your life and move forward. Don't sulk. And don't think, don't let your past rule your present or run your present right now. What is it that my Leo's needs to know? Be assertive. Bottom of the deck, we have there's something better. Leo's, you're being asked to be assertive about the things that you want in your life it's done whatever whatever that you are thinking whatever you're planning in your life 
you have to be assertive in whatever you're looking for to achieve because angels are telling you that even if you are stuck in your past even if you are trying to move on you're not giving it your 100% to move on because there is something better in case if you would have been giving your 100% to move on and if you would have been assertive in moving on you would have found that that something better here right so don't let your past hold you back because nothing is yet set in stone even if you think that you can bring your person back right or even if your person thinks that i am done nothing is yet set in stone so be assertive you are being guided and asked to move on because there is something better here for you what is it that my leos should know about the person most on their mind please what is the hidden truth what is the hidden truth what is the hidden truth here this is for my dear leos the hidden truth about their person whatever their person has been disclosed yet what is the hidden truth I somehow feel you your person is feeling very directionless and they themselves are stuck can be even dealing with a saji here sagittarius energy one more card please this is from my dear leos see that there are things which are hidden there are many secrets which are not yet disclosed to you right now many hidden secrets because whenever high priestess appear that means that they are secrets which you are yet not aware about your person and you are yet not to be you know you right now it you are yet not to be you know uh, to get aware as well so there are things which are hidden which you don't know about your person they are hiding many things about themselves i somehow feel that they are looking for a commitment they are looking for somebody who is financially stable who is financially well off and have a certain status in the society they themselves are kind of stuck in the memories of their past person and somehow they haven't been able to move on even after being with you they haven't been able to move on completely from their person and i feel somewhere down the line they have gone back in their shell they have gone back in their shell in a solitude state of mind wherein it is a possibility that they are not even interacting with you it is it is or it can be a no contact or a separation period right now that you might be going through right you might be going through a separation or a no contact period right now with your person however your person is feeling very stuck in their past energies i see your person is undoubtedly feeling very stuck here right your person is undoubtedly very stuck here in their past they haven't been able to move on even after being with you they still feel that they need a direction in their life they feel directionless for you probably they are the one but for them you are not the one you are not the one
they feel although they feel stuck in this particular connection with you they feel stuck with you right now they are blindfolded and they are unable to move on and they are unable to move on from you right now but i feel that they are also trying to heal themselves right now can be dealing with a sagittarian here i see a sagittarian card here can be dealing with a saggy here and there's a lot of balancing there's a lot of healing that your person is trying to do between their professional personal life and their past and present energy uh right now with you right but there's a lot of patience that they are maintaining a lot of patience that they are maintaining towards you right now i feel that they are manifesting you in a way they are manifesting you in a way yeah they are manifesting you in a way and they want this particular connection to happen because the person that you have most on your mind right now more than your person i think it is a new energy that you are thinking about right now a new person that you are thinking about about right now you have gone into the solitude state of mind and you are thinking about your past here this is your person's energy that new energy that has entered in your life right who is stuck upon you who is hung up on upon you trying to balance this connection out manifesting you at the same point of time also they are being very careful in order you know they are being very careful right now you know what i'm hearing right now there is a past and a present energy there are two energies that i read that i'm reading about right now one energy is your past energy because of which you have gone into a solitude state of mind could be a virgo you could be dealing with or a heavy virgo in placed in their chart there's one past energy that you're dealing with here right and there's one new energy that has entered in your life here this person can be your divine counterpart because i see king of pentacles and queen of pentacles both together here but this new energy is trying to be very careful you know this energy is someone who has had a lot in their past who have faced a lot in their past they are still kind of coming out they are still kind of healing from their past right now i feel but they want to come forward towards you slowly and gradually and offer you a cup of love they are being very careful right now to whom they actually offer their cup of love because they don't have much remaining so they are being very careful very choosy they cannot go ahead and play a blind game here they can't go ahead and place a bet another bet here right they are being very fearful uh and they are full of fears and insecurities when it comes to love and this particular connection as well but leo's this person that you're dealing with right now is your divine counterpart you may be not looking at them right now as your divine counterpart you may not feel them as your divine counterpart because i see that you are stuck here because of your past energy because you passed and you have gone into solitude state of mind and you're being very secretive about you not even discussing it with them but i see a union i see a beautiful solid grounded committed and a soulmate union coming forward in your life right now you may have not even recognized it 
but it is going to happen because I see judgment. You will take a call. You will be successful or they will be successful. They will be taking a call. And I see that there is a wish fulfillment that is going to come. That is going to come. For now, I see that you are, you, for now, I see that they are focusing on their coins and they also want to stay alone, independent right now. Because their past haven't served them well as well. But I do know this for a fact that this union is bound to happen. There is a lot of success that is going to come through this. And I somehow feel once you be successful and you take a call with your divine counterpart, you will be very lucky in your finances as well. You will become very lucky in your finances as well. Let's see, what are the messages? What are the hidden truth? What is it that your person most on your mind haven't told you? What is it that your person haven't told you yet? This is for my dear Leos. Oh my God. Alan, there are so many cards that just came out. I'm gonna shuffle them on. This is for my dear Leos. What is the hidden truth? This is for my dear Leos. Give me some messages, dear spirits. Wow. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I want you. I want to be more than friends. I don't react when people mention you. I love you. You don't know how it was to let you go and I regret lying to you. So these are the few messages from the Hidden Truth deck which you don't know about your person and which they have been hiding, right? So let's see how this reading goes with you all. Do let me know in the comment section. This reading did resonate with you all, most of you, many of you, a few of you, let me know. Also, as I said, I'm open for personal reading in case if you guys are interested. Do hit me up on my Instagram page. I'll be happy to help you out. Do leave me a comment down below in the comment section. And link to my Facebook, Instagram handle is down below as well in the description box thank you so much for tuning in to my channel dear leos all you lovely people take care bye, -bye.